All right, so moving on to AAA. Authentication, authorization, and accounting. When you think about authentication, right, you think about the concept of authenticity, right? Are you who you say you are? For example, if I'm, again, sending an email, how does the receiver know the sender is who they say they are? How do you know you're actually talking to the website that you intended to go to? Maybe it's just a spoofed website. Maybe somebody made a copy of it and you didn't even know. So authentication is basically verifying that you are who you say you are. Now, when we have authorization, we talk about access levels, right? So we're talking about, let's say we have security clearances, right? There's levels of access that you can have if you're authorized. So maybe you have a secret clearance, but you're not able to see anything that's top secret. You would only be able to see things that are confident at a confidential level and a secret level, but you wouldn't be able to see the top secret things because you don't have the authorization, right? Or if, if we talk about in a network, let's say we have a finance department and then we have an engineering department the people from the engineering department should only need access to what's in the engineering department folder they shouldn't be authorized to access the stuff in the finance folder that wouldn't make sense right so the concept of authorization keeps everybody from accessing things that they don't need access to a concept called principle of least privilege where you make sure people only have the access to things that they need and nothing more and the last a would be accounting so holding people accountable for the information that they access right so let's say you authenticated you told you verified you you are who you say you are you got authorized so now you actually do get into this top secret finance folder and now you need to be held accountable for the information that you used while you were in that folder, if that makes sense. So let's say I pulled out a certain file. I need to be held accountable for the things that happened with that file. And we have certain mechanisms that we can implement in IT to hold people accountable for the information that they use.